Go. Hi, welcome to Laugh Damn It. I am Ken. My left and right nipple do not get along verbiage. I don't know why. They both think of the tits. Anyways, um, uh, basically what this is, this is a YouTube show um, on YouTube, obviously. Uh, basically, I'm going to do two minutes of me attempting to be funny, and then I'm going to do eight minutes of me bantering with another person. Anyways, um, uh, I just saw uh, to start off with a little joke about men and women there. Um, have you ever noticed when a man's in a bad mood, you ask him, why are you in a bad mood? Dude, what's, what's wrong? You okay? What's the problem? And he just says, I'm fine or whatever. But when a woman's in a bad mood, you wonder to yourself, how long until this becomes my fault? Because you know it's coming. Somehow, it's your fault. Um, I also read in the news that I just thought ostriches, uh, when they were scared, they would uh, bury their heads in sand. This is actually not true. This is not true. It's a complete uh, rumor. It's, it's bullshit. Which is a shame, because what I was going to do is I was going to buy <coughs> I was gonna buy a bunch of ostriches, and I was going to put them on a cemented area, and go, bah! and watch them knock themselves the fuck out. By the way, I will be saying the word fuck. I have to apologize to anybody in the Ajax, Winnipeg area, because I don't think you guys like swearing. Um, or shouting. Anyway, so, um, also, <clears throat> the other day, I was um, uh, at a coffee shop, I don't really know why, and I saw a girl, she walks up to the cashier, and this is how she really spoke. She said to the cashier, Hi there, I would like um, an egg salad sandwich. Um, would that be okay? I got an egg salad sandwich, and like a mocha chocolate latte She really spoke like that. I'm like, oh my god, I have to stab you. Wait, no, no, I don't want to stab you, I want to stab myself. That's how annoying she was. I wanted to harm myself physically. I wanted to stab myself in the head so I don't have to listen to her talk anymore. And then she goes, so like, honey, she, I'm like, oh my god, there's two of them. Because here's her boyfriend. Hi there, honey, what do you want? Oh my god, honey, what do you want to eat? He's like, I don't know, honey, I don't know what I want. What do you want? I don't know what you want. Let's see, look him. Die! I wanted to kill them both. I want him to die. I don't care what disease, you pick. I'm letting you pick. I, right now I'm thinking rabies, because it'd be funny, because who's died of rabies in the past like 10 years? If anyone on the audience play has died of rabies, I'm sorry, but <laughs> what the fuck's wrong with you? Anyways, um, that's the last bit of the stand-up part. I'm not going to go to the couch here and attempt to uh, banter and uh, entertain you in that way. I, so, This is his feet walking to the couch. This is my feet walking to the couch. Wait, wait, I have to get my Pepsi. <laughs> this is his feet walking to the Pepsi. <laughs> and now it's my crotch. <laughs> yeah, no, that's not going to be good on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so, I, as I said, we are, we'll be entering. Bantering. I love that word, by the way. It sounds like two baseball players. I'm sitting in the wrong spot, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> the director has told me to move the fuck over here. So now I'm fucking over here. Wait, I'm not fucking over here. I have moved from here to yes, there. That that was the fucking couch. This is <coughs> that was the fucking love seat. <laughs> this is the fucking couch. <laughs> this, this is a fucking hate seat. <laughs> this is where you lay after you fuck. Get fucked. Wait, lay and fuck. We are apparently going to keep going dirty. No. Er. <laughs> By the way, thanks for dinner, honey. It was very good. <laughs> Anytime. I mean, it was, I, mean it was I, I live to serve man. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you do. I, actually, I did serve man to you. <laughs> I just hope you don't mind, Randy Campbell. <laughs> was he cute? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I want to fucking do nothing. I'm sorry. I don't care if that sounds shallow. I don't want to know the person. It's, <clears throat> it's weird, you know, the people. Although, here's one thing you should never do never pick a fight with another person. They have way more to lose than you. <laughs> No, seriously, they'll be like, I don't care, you brought my face up, bitch, I already did it. Oh, well, what happened to me? Um, I was on the bus, and there was this crazy lady, and she's like, <coughs> talking to herself, like, my brain is a banana. And I'm like, wow, you're fucking nuts. Is that because she was split? <laughs> nah, she's big fruit. Anyway, so she's sitting <laughs> on the bus, talking, oh, la, 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 la. So what you're saying, she wasn't very appealing. No. <laughs> uh, nicely done. Nah, but she was, she did seem a little yellow. Um. So kids, if you want to do a drinking game, every time he points, take a swig. Every time I say something funny, take a swig. We're lost over kids up there, aren't we? Why are kids drinking? <laughs> <laughs> because their parents are horrible parents. Back to your banana split lady. <coughs> yes, back to the banana split lady. Uh, first, we'll stop talking about children drinking. <laughs> Which is funny. I would love to see a kid drunk. Mommy and Daddy, fuck you! 
It'd be so funny, right? And then, of course, if they're drinking, most likely the, mother, the parents are drinking too. So that would just be really funny. What if they're not drinking? What if the parents are in on it and they're designated drivers? Well, you know, I'm sorry. Usually, I, I today I'm driving because my four year old's had too much to drink. <laughs> By the way, I can't make the kid four. That's, that makes it even worse. I swear, officer, he said he was three. <laughs> <coughs> well, yeah, I mean, like, you don't want to get a three year old drunk because they'll pee everywhere. They don't do that, anyways. Um, what were we talking about? Oh, but absolutely, yes. So, basically, what happened is I'm on the fucking bus. I'm not on the fucking bus, I'm on a bus. There's no fucking on this bus. <laughs> I, I, I oh, I, you just missed the fucking bus. I just missed it. I hate it when that it happens. Came so fast. <laughs> it comes early sometimes. It, it comes really fast. <laughs> anyway, the then you have to wait for another one. You have to wait. <coughs> wait. Have to, oh, it's so annoying. And then it keeps going through the tunnels. <laughs> I don't know. I just wanted to add that in. Sometimes, sometimes I hate to. It was it. raining. Sometimes it annoys you because you always get the fun you're joking. And I'm like, fuck you. I gotta add something. <laughs> and I don't care if it makes sense. I will make I will make it make sense because I defy logic. Because the name of the show is Laugh, damn it. <laughs> I had to think about that. <laughs> <laughs> I am fired! I'm not even getting paid! <clears throat> the coughing is because I um it helps you. That's me. part of his shtick. It's part of my thing. He's the coughing comedian. I'm the coughing comic. <laughs> Next time you order some CC and G, it's the coughing comic and gin. What? C C and G, it's what's a, it's a drink. What? It's I forgot what the C C stands for. Oh, oh Canadian right. Club. Oh, and ginger. And gin. And gin. <coughs> well, Not no. ginger. The wasn't she from a TV show? I loved her. I always like Marianne better though. <laughs> Gillick and I, you know, I'm talking about the interrupt you on the TV fucking show. I always thought Gillick and Slicky might have Down syndrome. <laughs> Which is nothing wrong with. Just, you know. Oh fuck, banana lady. Oh come on, you're down with that. I'm down with I'm down with the syndrome. <laughs> <laughs> and you're up with the sick. And we're off the internet now. <laughs> <laughs> no. I like I like to be tipping down syndrome out. Luckily, there are, if you are mentally challenged, you're watching our show. You'll fit right in. <laughs> anyway, so um, oh fuck, fantasy. <laughs> <coughs> you know the worst part is this joke's actually not that funny. <laughs> <laughs> That's not that funny. What the fuck? Great build up, asshole. You're like you're like all the Star Wars films. Um, <laughs> what they suck. I don't care what he says. The new, the old ones were great. The new ones. What the fuck was that? <laughs> I remember I saw Star Wars: Friends of Sith with you, and I was intoxicated and high and tired and naked, and it still sucked. <laughs> I wasn't naked. The other three I definitely was. <laughs> I was naked. You ready to like think about something like that? I wasn't naked. Anyway, so basketball lady. <laughs> what the fuck am I calling her that even for you? <laughs> How did we get bananas? She was crazy, fruity. You said bananas. Ah, oh, there you go. Okay, so she was crazy, and she's talking to herself. <clears throat> As she's talking to herself, um, I'm sitting there like, what a crazy lady, and she's like, and she starts talk, playing on her phone. And I'm like, wow, what a nut job. And she's like talking to herself, and talking on her fucking phone, cell phone, which I guess because she's talking to herself and on her cell phone, that's like a weird conference call, maybe, I don't know. And she's talking to herself. <laughs> maybe, like, maybe it was three calling between herself, herself, and... Seven, so, uh, so, but it wasn't the fucking bus, so ah. it's, a, it's a calling three-way. Ah. Because otherwise, nah, fuck off. Anyway, so, and she's talking to herself, I'm looking at her. <clears throat> and as I'm looking at her, I'm looking going, wait a second, is that an iPhone? It is. Her phone is better than mine. You know you're a loser when a person who smells like crap and apparently banana splits has a better phone than you. I'm like, Jesus Christ. Like, what do you want? Some, what kind of plan does a crazy lady have? Like, you hear five voices, get five free? I don't know. I was like, you fucking bitch. I wanted to grab her phone and go, fuck you. Because I'm like, it'll be really funny to watch her like, call the police and complain to me. But means and some guy stole my phone, and also the bananas are in my brains. Like, but how could she phone the cops if you had her phone? <laughs> you're a criminal mastermind. You're like Lex Luthor rolled up with Rob Ford, who is no longer our mayor. Yeah, yeah. I want to look. I want to find out more about that. Why? Um, I don't know. Yeah. Um, <laughs> no, but then I heard. <coughs> I heard that he was. Con although I could be wrong. I heard he was confronted on why, or why he didn't think it was a. What was it called? 
We're not, we're not down. I may be a coat drinker, but I'm okay with sponsoring. <laughs> Except he didn't show the label. All we're seeing is the nutritional stuff. Anyway. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. The fact that nutritional stuff on a Pepsi thing, it's like, it should just say it's Pepsi, stupid. Shut the fuck up. Like, do you really, who, does anyone buy a Pepsi bottle and go, oh my God, there's a lot of calories. I shouldn't drink this. No, you fucking buy it and go, this is going to taste like shit, brought my teeth and give me diabetes. Fuck it. I don't care. Like, I, I'm thinking if you're drinking Pepsi, you pretty much have given up. You pretty much either, or you're already skinny and don't care, or you're putting on the pounds and either way, don't care. No one's going to pick up Pepsi and go, oh, this has a lot of calories, and I'm actually reading the local for a second there. Sodium 10 milligrams, I don't know what the fuck any of this shit means. And I'm like, oh, well, like you're going to fucking care. Just fucking drink it. It tastes good and it goes great with alcohol. Um, <coughs> so, basically, um... Yeah, the crazy lady had a really good fun. Oh, yeah, so Rob Ford, he was, um, yeah, I don't know what really happened. I was watching the news. Conflict of interest. That was the word I was looking for. They said that there was some type of conflict of interest issue. We should probably, I should probably read about this before I talk about it. But there was some issue with conflict of interest and because of that. But then he said that he never read the paper that said to watch out for these issues and to make sure not to have well, any conflict of interest. He is Rob Ford. Him reading is just not going to happen. Yeah, but the thing was is that we voted him in. I mean, yeah. like, the, the city voted for this guy. No, but I mean, like, the majority of people in Toronto did want this idiot. So, I mean, we, we got what we, we voted sure for. We yeah. sure did. I actually didn't vote at all. Um, it was raining. When was the last time you voted? On American Idol? <laughs> <laughs> have, you, have you ever voted? I voted on, um, uh, oh, America's Got Talent once. <laughs> I tried to for 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 a real like governmental election. I went for Terry. Come on, pe people, people, di oh. people died. <coughs> people died. People died. People died. People died so I can vote. People died so you could vote. <laughs> no, people died because they had nothing better to do. Oh, it's <laughs> like ah, fuck it. My wife's ugly. I'm gonna go and kill some people. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. That just offended like a whole bunch of people. No, um, <coughs> I do believe in voting. I think it's a good thing. Um, I think it's cool. But no, I actually voted. Um, uh, I actually did vote uh, three years ago. This is an example of Ken not knowing hand signals. <laughs> Give me the finger. We're at 12 minutes. <laughs> Sorry? Yeah. 12 minutes, yeah. Okay, well, um, uh, we're almost done. Our show. Uh, this is Laugh Damn It. And I am uh, Ken. I touch myself a lot. Burbage. And this is your co host, the director. And uh, hopefully, uh, we'll see you guys soon. And it'll be back. And uh, I'm letting you know, uh, if you're six foot four and your girlfriend leaves you for a midget, all you can do is laugh, damn it. Can I?